So we got that one there. Now let's just go to Kartra and we'll start, we'll start from Kartra. So okay. all we're going to do is click on our profile picture in the top right. So hit that drop down and we're going to go down to custom domain, custom domains. Okay. Yes. And then all you're going to do is just go with, um, hit the green plus down there to the bottom right. And then we're going to go with only the main domain. So it's going to be your, okay. your domain.com. And then all you're going to do is type it in right there. Mm -hmm. And then also, since you have the designer and you're working with the designer, ask them if they can simply, um, maybe maybe screenshot this right here you, you don't have to do it now but you can actually you know what do it now screenshot this real quick screenshot this, this and save it me. yeah this? yes yeah okay. and then just just maybe email it to yourself or, or just save it for now um and what okay what is perfect. so this is for uh what so should i call it if i were you call it um call it favicon favicon right in the bottom right favicon favicon, favicon. image favicon image what I would do, since you're working with a designer right now, simply say, hey, because they shouldn't charge you a lot, maybe a few bucks, like if anything, five dollars, two bucks, three bucks, they shouldn't charge you a lot at all. Reach out to them and say, hey, since you're doing all these other designs, would you mind taking a look at this, this favicon, this little image, can you also make me something that small, that size as well? Because that would allow you to put your logo right there in the favicon. So when you're, so when people are on your website, your logo well, shows like how about this is this good let's see that's it might no it might watch put it there it's that's not going to look good there it um it has to be it has to be um because if you just like look at look at the tabs that you have open right now you have kartra dash welcome you have kartra uh -huh. you have 68 business settings you have products it's that logo uh, okay so so if you have if you have letters in that you're not going to be able to see it i can see it i can see the letter k right oh, I something little like this does it yeah. have to should it be branded to the real estate or should it be branded to um to, to your, what am I branding? well well it, it, this this is branded to your real estate because this is that domain okay this will be related to the forest team at exp so it could be like a tf like t the forest team it could be like a tree it could yeah, even be like yeah a tree. yeah like a tree that'd be perfect it, a, a, okay. an awesome logo of a tree that would go right there perfect okay yes cool. that'd be awesome so, so send them that image and just say, Hey man, I need, I need a tree. I need, you know, here's my logo, maybe break it down so it can fit this because that's where I want to put it. I like no, it. They'll know okay. exactly the dimension for it. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. So, so that's that. And then, and then, yeah, once you do get that image, all you're going to do is hover over the favicon and just put it in right there. Watch, put something there just for the hell of it. Just so you know, put something, put, put anything there. Okay. And you can um, always change it later. That? Or a team. I'll go into our marketing and just pick something from here. Why can't I find it? There it is. And we'll just do, I'll just do, um, yeah, I can do yeah. a follow up and do a little EXP thing. Or yeah, something. put anything, anything for now. And you'll, you'll see, you'll see what it looks like. You see how that looks, looks horrible, yeah. right? So, and that's a, that's, that's a PNG file. So you'll need a JPEG file. They'll know exactly, they'll know okay. exactly what to, what to, what to give you. Oh, here, here you go. Yeah, see something, but but even those letters, right? Like even yeah. you can't even really see that see too much. You want me to save it in there or just- Yeah, just might as well, just for the hell of it, but just hit confirm. Oh, I did the wrong thing. I put change and I know. Okay, confirm, got it. Okay, <laughs> cool. Yeah, see, so that's why in that you don't really want letters or words because you just, you can't read it. So a yeah. cool tree would, would look awesome right there. I like that. All right, tree. And that would just show up on all of your staugustinnow.com pages. So on the sales side, that's the, the icon that would show on all those pages. Cool. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Okay, so let's hit next, hit next. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to get some some information here on what we need to bring over to GoDaddy. So um, we're on number two, really. Point your C name record to Kartra. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna copy the forest.kartra.com. So that right there, that URL on, on number two, that URL okay. right there, copy everything other than the period at the end. So copy okay. it, yeah, okay. perfect, perfect. So we're gonna copy that and then we're gonna bring it over to GoDaddy. So let's go to GoDaddy. And we're gonna simply edit or add um, a CNAME record. So all we're gonna do is let's click on the domain 
that we're going to be using. So just go ahead and X out of this. We need your help. You can X out of that and just maybe click on, click on that domain if you can. Yeah, click on manage. You can click on manage my domain. All right, let's go okay. to manage DNS. Perfect. Manage DNS. There we go. Okay, cool. So this is where the settings is for 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 the for the actual domain. This just kind of just tells GoDaddy where to point the domain when someone clicks on it, where do they go? So that's all this information right here. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna simply edit that C name www at the one hour. So let's edit that one. Oh, perfect. Yes. And then the points two, we're gonna simply take away the at and paste in the Karcher one. Cool. Okay, cool. And then we're gonna hit save. Okay, awesome. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the very bottom and we're gonna go to the forwarding. So let's go down to the forwarding and we're gonna add a, a forwarding right there. So this one's gonna be, we're gonna hit the drop down. You see the HTTP, let's make that HTTPS. So hit that drop down to the left right there. Yep, choose the S. And then here you're gonna type in www dot and then your, your domain, staugustinenow.com. Cool. Okay. Perfect. And then save it. Okay. Okay, cool. So now um, refresh this page. It's always good to refresh it um, once you do something, whether it's on this side or the GoDaddy side or the Facebook ad side. Refresh the page um, just to give it a little, a little re up. And then let's go to Kartra. And mm -hmm. then. Um, Let's go ahead and continue on Kartra. So we did we did step two and we did step okay. three. Okay. Okay. So now cool. we're gonna click on yes. So we'll click yes and then we'll hit next. Right. Okay, perfect. Now the index page is is pretty much the, the landing page. And this kind of pertains to when when and if. Actually, let me just say if. If mm -hmm. you don't renew that domain, for example, right? It's it's it you gotta renew it every year, right? With GoDaddy. Yeah. If for some reason you don't you don't renew it and mm -hmm. someone still clicks on it, where do they go? So this is just telling Kartra where to redirect them should that link not work. So mm -hmm. here we'll just go with um, actually no, we don't even have a page up just yet. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna have to do is just hit the create new page. Let's just put any random page up for right now. Um, go ahead and click on create new page right there to the um, right, okay. create new page. Create. Yeah, yeah create okay. new page right there. You see in little letters, create new page, right mm, below, um, gonna... it's on the index page, but oh, down. I see it. I'm sorry. Okay. No, not that one, not it. that one. Actually, you could click on that one, but that was for the error, but the error page, but we could do it here, that's fine. So click on, click on page, okay. the green one. And so now we're in my pages. So now we're in my okay. pages. And this is how you create a whole new page. But I have a ton of funnels that I'm going to send to you already. But this is simply okay. how you put together a page from scratch. So okay. I might as well just walk you through this real quick. Cool. I love this. This is like in, WordPress. Yeah, way, way, yeah, yeah. Because the, there's templates in WordPress as well. And just like this, these are all templates. So if you click on okay. squeeze page or video sales page, click on any of them. Thank you page, long sales page. Click on, yeah, click on any of them. Um, a coming soon page. There's all these templates that you can work off of. Cool. So, so I could put this read a real estate agents for now because I don't have anything on it yet. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> heck yeah. And then a countdown clock and that clock just ticks. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, and so when it comes to the very first page of most projects, of most businesses, of most campaigns or funnels, whatever the heck you want to call them, most will start with a squeeze page. So it's all about it's all about getting people to a squeeze page to get them information to download to give up their to give up their information right they're they're coming here for your for your free seller guide they're coming here for a free download whatever it may be so normally it's a squeeze page and so there's a few different templates and and it's just a template you can change everything about it you can delete things you can change the purple to red you can change anything and everything Option. the image so, so what's so cool is the fact that it it's the template is already proven to convert. It's already a proven template. So you don't need a you don't you don't need to really rearrange anything or even delete anything. 
what you'll well, need to do is just add your own personality, add your colors, add, add, add your background image, put your face right there. Right. So just, it's kind of just fill in the blank type of thing because well, you don't want to change too much of, of it. You don't need to change too much of it. Like you can hit preview. So just hit preview right there on that first one, just click on preview. And so okay. this, like this could be, this could be a simple page for your seller guide, Ooh. you know? So driving traffic to, to your page where, it's, where, where you're on video right there. Hey guys, this is Anastasia. Thank you so much for landing on my landing page. Let me, I just wanted to personally introduce myself and let you know, little, tell you a little bit about what, what we have in this seller guide and what you can expect, right? Mm -hmm. A simple 30 second hello. And then that yeah. person enters their name and email and clicks on submit, download your, download your seller guide now, right? So the, the, the template is already there, which is, which is amazing. And, and that just saves you a ton of time. Yeah. A ton of time. So again, all it comes down to is really two simple pages, your, your squeeze page, and then your okay. thank you page. That's okay. it. Like, that's it. A person can build a seven, eight, nine figure business with those two pages, a landing page, a squeeze page, and a thank you page. Cause wow. again, it's all about capturing a lead. That's all it's about is capturing a lead. So, wow. so, so that's what's so powerful about, about this. A lot of it's already done for you. Um, yeah. So let's just choose anyone for now, just so we can connect the domain. Um, yeah. And then you can always delete that page, create a new page or edit the page. So you can always just do whatever the heck you want. So let's start with squeeze page and let's start with like that one right there with book. Like yeah. imagine a, a awesome image of your, of your seller guide, right? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, hey, download your free seller guide. And, and there's an image of it, right? right. That, that's how mine looks. Like, that's, that's, like, let me, let me show you what, what I spent five bucks on. Okay. Through so Fiverr. Okay. Let me, um, let me know if you can, yeah, stop share. Let me know if you can, if you can see mine. Yes, my, um, yes I, I can. Okay. So let me, let me see if I can pull this. I'm pretty sure I still have this page up. Um, yeah. See, so you come actually to, exp I'm going to have to show you in my car because I have a timer on that page and it expired. Like, let me show you. So when you go to my, when you go to my landing page, I have a countdown clock. So I'm giving people, you know, like a minute to freaking download the book. Um, and then after a minute it expires, it expires. And then that person, it redirects that person to a different page. And then they mm. could no longer download it, but that's just me. Like, I just like to create urgen urgency, but um, let yeah. me just show it to you right here. Um, where is it at? Okay. So this simple page is similar to the one that you were looking at right there where a person comes and they just simply see the image of my book. Okay. Simple, oh, cool. simple like this. So your Fiverr guy, whoever you're working with that image of the book is is one is one design that you'll want okay i'm taking a picture of your thing That's yeah for sure for sure so so they come here they see that maybe maybe a picture of you on the in on on the cover whatever you can get creative with it you know but but that's it looks like a legitimate book right they come here they download their copy now and then i have this countdown clock and when that countdown clock hit, expires it redirects that person and they can no longer download it but i mean that's going the extra mile like you don't really need to do that but um, mm -hmm. but that's just how I, how I have mine views at the bottom. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. These are my real clients, you know, from that, that are on, you know, all on my business page reviews was that are this, on my business page. Was this temple part of the template as well? Yeah. Yeah. Like if you look at the template, so go back to your, your screen, share your screen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know if it was that exact template, but I, but again, you can add all this, like once I take you into the builder, which I'm going to show you right now, you can mm -hmm. add anything. You can add all that stuff. Okay. You can add a section of the reviews. You can, you can add all that stuff. I'll show you how simple it is to build this stuff. We'll get to that part and, and, and editing and all that stuff on a different call, but let's just put up any page right now so we can connect this domain. Okay, so just cool. grab, grab any squeeze page and let's grab any, any, um, mm -hmm. yeah, let's just board. do a squeeze page for now. Okay. So just, so you selected it. Now you hit launch builder in the top, right? The green one, let's launch builder. Okay. And then now we're going to name it. So this is, the, so we're going to name it. 
and it'll be seller guide landing page or seller guide opt-in page or seller guide squeeze page. Okay. So is the landing and squeeze the same or are they different? Yes. Same, same. Yeah. Good question. Okay. Yeah. Same thing. Okay. So, <laughs> okay I'll know. In seller my guide landing page. Yeah. And then, and then what I would start doing, since you're going to be working on different projects, you want to start categorizing these pages. So let's just get in the ha in, in a good habit now and let's categorize it. So hit manage my, yeah, hit that. And then let's just create a seller guide, seller guide category. And you could, and, and these are seller guide, seller guide. Yeah. Seller guide's fine. But all this is, is you're going to start all the pages that you start to start to build inside of the seller guide funnel will all be in this one category. So should I should I label this a little more? Do you have another word I should add? Seller seller guide seller guide seller guide funnel seller guide funnel. Like this? Yep, perfect. Hit the green one and you're good. So hit done. And then what we'll do is it'll bring us back where you'll hit the drop down and then choose that category. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. So now we're going to choose that category and then no site in particular. You'll just go ahead and go with no site in particular. Okay. So hit on the site, hit the drop down on the site. Yeah. No site in particular and then create. So all we're doing is we're naming it. We're naming the page internally. We're putting it in a category. Mm -hmm. That's all we did there. And then this here is just a simple tutorial. You can go through this real quick. Okay. So <laughs> now that we're in the builder, here, and, and, and I'm going to start you off right. Like, I, I really want to give you these good habits to kind of go off of and learn learn off, like just build your foundation from. When I come into a new page for the first time, mm -hmm. I'll always click on settings to the left. Because what we did is we named the page. We named it internally, right? We named it internally. But by default, click on SEO parameters. By default, Kartra also gives that name to the page title. That page title is what the general public sees when they're oh, okay. on that page. Okay, we wanna change that. Yeah, like, so that's the, the, the tab. You see the tabs that you have open? At the top, you have yeah. Kartra-Welcome. Kartra, Kartra, you have 68 business settings. You have GoDaddy Domain Manager. That's the title of the tab. So, so this is the squeeze page. This is the landing page, selling your home. You could put something like that, or you could put download your seller guide now. Okay. Something like that, like a call to action, download your free seller guide now, or something like that. Download your, your, your free guide now. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. And then scroll to the bottom. Okay. And so that's the first thing I'll do. Now, the image selected, click on that real quick. Yeah. The image selected, I only put that on a landing page, on a squeeze page. And that image is the image that would show on social media when anyone shares this link. Okay. So, so if you were to ever share the link on social media, or if you start running ads and people want to share, share the link, there's an image that shows on social media. So okay. that would be this image. Okay. So, Do you want me to? Thing or you not. can now, or you can always do it later. It's up to you, but, but, um, you could put anything there for now. Um, for now and we can, uh, yeah, like later. your logo. Yeah. That'd be cool. So it wouldn't be a PNG. It would be, oh, it would, you would need a JPEG because okay. a PNG file, there's no background. Okay. It's just the letters, right? It's just see how there's no right. background on that. Background. That's a PNG file. So, so a work. JPEG file, it would, but it just wouldn't, it wouldn't show right. It wouldn't, it wouldn't look right. You need a solid, a solid picture, like a solid background. Um, Let's do a Sean and Anastasia. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. And, and you'd want widescreen. You would want a widescreen. These are vertical ones. So, so something more widescreen, like that one, that would be good. Like that would be good. That would be good. That's that widescreen um, dimension. So that would be the image that shows on social media if anyone were to share that link. So again, I only put that on a squeeze page or a landing page. So that okay. image might have been too too big. Yeah, I'll shrink it later. I don't want to waste your time. It looks like I have to go shrink it. I can yeah. do that, but yeah, it's all good. It's all good. So so let's um so let's so so anytime you do anything here, always click apply. Always click Ooh, apply. 
Do you recommend adding an image later? Yeah, later, just, later. Definitely. Yeah, just, just for a squeeze page. Yeah, just for a squeeze page. For the thank you page or for the, any other page, you don't need to. But but for a, a squeeze page, yeah, because you'll most likely share that on social media. Someone else might share it and, and you want it to look good when they post it. Okay, yes. so we always yes. click apply over here. We always click apply. And then to the top right, so here's all we're going to do. Let's get out of here then. So we just we just put together the page. We'll do all the editing later. So in the okay. top, here's how you exit. So again, the first thing I do is I hit settings and then and then and then I 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 click apply and then I exit the page. So I'll show you how to do all the editing later or you or you can jump on our on our calls and, and you'll learn a ton as well, the Tuesday and Thursday okay. calls. But for right right now, let's just hit the actions, the top right. We'll hit actions and then we'll go save progress. And then we'll go publish live. Okay. Okay. And then I have my, my friend, Christine, Christine, give me one minute, but I wanted to put you on because I'm going through the same stuff that, that you're, that you're going to want to learn as well with Karcher. I'm on my, I'm on the line with my friend, Anastasia. So I'll be right Hello. there, Christine. All right. So all we're going to do is we're going to hit save progress and then we're going to publish live. Why do I publish? I don't see the publish so button. Oh, is the it actions? Yeah, hit the actions okay. and then go publish live and then we'll go return a dashboard. Okay, cool. Um, and then, okay, no, here we go. Close and go to so, dashboard. Yeah, yeah and, and see, so when, what we just did is we hit the green button, we save progress, we publish okay. live. Do the, do the publish live again. When you're exiting the, the page, again, do the, hit the actions and publish live again. When you publish, publish live, again. yeah. When you're exiting a page and you're and you publish live, this is where you're going to be able to change the domain. So oh. we have to finalize our domain. We haven't done that just yet. We will, but once we finalize the domain, you're going to get the page link. You're going to click on that. Okay, get the page link. Okay. And then and then you're going to hit the pencil to the right, and then you'll mm -hmm. see a drop down to the left. So hit that drop down. There's nothing there yet. We have to add the domain, but. From this point on, once we go and finalize the domain, which we'll do here in one minute, we'll hit that drop down on the next page and you'll see your domain right there. And so all okay. you're going to do is choose your domain and, and you're going to customize the back end. So the forward slash, so that's CRW1. You'll huh. always want to customize that. So, so the new domain will be stagustinenow.com forward slash seller guide. Okay. No, that wouldn't okay. be there. That wouldn't be there because that's going to be the domain. Oh. So, so when we finalize our domain, you're going to hit the drop down to the left. You're going to mm -hmm. see your domain and you just okay. choose your domain. So okay, now it's going to be stagustinenow.com forward slash, and then you would put whatever you want right there. And in this case, this is the, this is the landing page. This is for your seller guide. So you'd put seller guide right there. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. So you could do that right now. You could put seller guide right there, right there, put seller guide. And then, okay, and gosh. then you'll end up just changing the domain to the left to your domain once we finalize your domain here in a minute. So, okay. so we got that. So hit the check mark. We're good there. Hit close. close. So it was a, it's a three click exit. We hit the actions button, hit the actions on the top, right? What did we do? We save progress. We publish live and then we return a dashboard. So don't do that. You already did that. You already saved yep. progress. You already published live. Now return a dashboard. Yes. Return it Perfect. Okay. So now, now hit exit. Yep. Okay. So now we're going to be able to complete this domain real quick. So now let's click the top right, mm -hmm. hit the drop down, and then go to custom domain. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So now go back X out of this one. I think the other one's still open. Okay. Perfect. So now cool. hit back real quick because I don't think it's going to show here yet. So now yeah. click the, click the, Go ahead and click next. Oh, Let's sorry. See shows. Sorry. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. So hit the hit the plus sign. Yes. And then let's only the main domain. Okay. Okay. Now type it in again. And then. The, yeah. Yeah. That's your domain. Okay. And then next. Next. Okay. And then just click yes. We have. Yes, we did. Next. Okay. And then now see if you can find that page. So, so it's going to be a Karcher page. And then the site on the index page, the site, hit select site and go no site in particular. And then let's see if that page is there now. Yay, 
Perfect. Awesome. Do the same thing for the error page. So right below, do the same thing. So okay. Kartra page, no site, and then seller guide, and then just hit next. Okay, okay cool. So now it says here within the day, but go ahead and close this and then try refreshing this. Normally this takes a couple of minutes, but um, go ahead and just refresh it and see if okay. it has connected. Okay. Okay, so give it give it a couple minutes. Once you once you give it a couple minutes, you'll refresh it, and then the processing would say connected. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's and that's what we wanted to do there is is connect that domain. So now let's just go to Facebook real quick. We'll be done, Christine. We'll be done in two minutes. Go to the ads manager real quick, the business settings. Let's mm -hmm. just integrate this domain into. No, you already have it open right there at the top. The sixty eight business settings. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to integrate that domain with Facebook. So okay. Facebook wants to know now, this is the newest update with Facebook. You didn't have to do this before. This is required now. Facebook wants to know the domain that you're sending traffic to. They don't want to just, before they used to just care about the Karcher page, just, just that's the URL, the Karcher link, and that's all they needed to know before. But now Facebook is requiring you to have your own custom domain. Um, and, 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 and Facebook wants to know about that. So there's a few steps that we got to do to integrate that with Facebook. So over here, we're in your ad, your business manager, the forest team at eXp. Now to the left, you're going to click on brand safety. So right at the bottom, brand safety. Domains. And then right here, we're going to add your domain. So let's go ahead. You don't have to put the www, just, yep, just St. Augustine. Perfect. Okay. And then um, go ahead and add. And then now we're going to hit refresh. Just go ahead and refresh this page. And now we're going to get a list of instructions on what we need to add to GoDaddy. So right here, it's saying number two, add this text record to the DNS configuration. So go ahead and hover over Facebook domain, hover over that, that link right there, the, the number two, copy that. And now let's bring that to GoDaddy. So let's go over to GoDaddy the top and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to add a text record so go ahead and scroll back up no not right there above right there add okay so to the left go txt and then we're going to the host is going to be the at sign so shift two yeah and then the txt value go ahead and paste in that link no yeah. no, no no not there not there the txt okay. value so, so that's add. the at sign, and then that is the link. Save. Okay. Click save. Okay. Okay, cool. So we're good there. So go ahead and refresh this page. Yep. And then let's go back to Karcher real quick. Yep. And refresh Karcher, or refresh this page. Okay, so just give it a couple more minutes and that should be connected. So now let's go to Facebook one last time and then let's just click on verify and let's see let's see if, if it's updated yet. Go to the business settings mm -hmm. and then click on the green one, verify. You're oh. verified. Okay, cool. So that's how you integrate your domain with Kartra and with Facebook. Now go back to Kartra one last time. Let's refresh it. Normally, normally it takes about five minutes. You just refresh it. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's still processing. No, no worries. But once it's connected, then it's connected. Then we can start building these pages around that domain. Okay. Cool. So give this, give this like four more minutes, and then refresh it, and then that processing would say connected. Okay. Okay. And then, and then that's that's it for this call. So on our next cool. call is when we can start putting everything together. Lots of stuff here. Thank you yes. so much. I'll just keep, I'll keep that ad running that month long ad. Nobody's liking it or any commenting, but it's no, it's just a, a video. It's just a video ad. They're, they're not supposed to. So it's oh, just okay. video views. So you should now have probably a couple thousand views on it by this point, but it's yeah, just video it's views lot. to build. Yeah, it's a lot, right? So it's just, to, it's just to build the views so we can then retarget them with our second ad and show them our seller guide. Okay. 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 Cool. Well, I trust so, you. David. I'm, I'm excited to see what happens. Thank you so much. For yes. Your time. You're so, so welcome. Let's chat again. So schedule another call. Cause we got a lot to do. Yes, we do. All okay, right. Talk to, you soon. talk to you soon. Bye-bye.